is an endless sea of podcast about entrepreneurship. Talk, talk, talking about it, but not living it. We live it every day. This is Inside the Wolf's Den, an entrepreneurial journey with Sean and Joni Wolfswinkle, talking about real estate investing, but also encompassing general subjects in regards to owning small to medium-sized businesses, and of course, all the struggles that business owners must overcome to be successful. This is Inside the Wolf's Den, and this is Sean and Joni Wolfswinkle. Welcome back to Inside the Wolf's Den with your hosts, Sean and Joni Wolfswinkle. How are you doing today, Sean? Doing great. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a um, long but productive week, hasn't it? <laughs> I, feel, I think we say that every week. <laughs> <laughs> but, so I don't know what's going on. We have a, it just seems like it never, n- we never have a short week. Or So I mean, kind of, this will be a great topic. So today yeah. <laughs> we're actually, we're going to be talking about feeling overwhelmed, right? Um, mm-hmm. I know that all of us can feel overwhelmed from time to time. Absolutely. Um, and um, that's just the nature of it. And we have to learn how to, you know, control our emotions and, you know, and maybe adapt to things. Um, but yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. I, I think the key to that was adapt and, and learn. We're going to get into it, but I mean, like, you know, having grit and tenacity and resiliency and, and all that's going to play into it. But it's, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, to be honest with all our listeners and everything, you and I are no different than anybody else yeah, out there. It's and, life. And, uh, it might seem like we have, uh, everything together all the time and but that's obviously nope. not the not, We're human. Not truth <laughs> and uh you know i think a lot of times we're like man how do you guys do it all like how are you managing it all and and to be honest sometimes we we suck at it we yeah. just we don't we don't do well at it um and, and we might not you know portray that publicly all the time but it um you know that's what we wanted to do today was just be vulnerable and be, and hey like yeah, there's times that it's a struggle too, uh-huh. just like anybody else. So yeah, for sure. Um, get to get you want to go into why you know this topic and kind of where we've been, you know, this this year and last year and kind of what led up to a lot of. Yeah, that? I mean, I think you know, um, 2020 and this year, it feels like we've taken a lot on. Mm-hmm. Um, last year, you know, it was uh, you know all that fell on our plate with the pandemic. We we had to, our company had to adapt pretty quickly to that Mm -hmm. on top of everything else that we had planned, such as my book. And, um, you know, and and this year we had the ice ice storm that fell Mm -hmm. on our plate. You know, things are going to happen regardless, right? You don't have these planned, you know, Mm -hmm. but um, and then I entered this fitness competition, which is extreme discipline. And Mm -hmm. so I think I, you know, and, and that's part of it is I think we are just high achievers, Mm -hmm. you know, and so we just, throw more stuff on our plate, um, not thinking anything of it until it's o- been overwhelming, right? Over. Yeah, and and that was, I think that was the key is we just, we learned that we, we thought we could just, yeah, we're high achievers. If we have a dull moment, we're like, okay, how can I feel it? Or how, what else can I do? And, it, yeah. and we, w- this year really showed that there's a limit to what mm-hmm. we can take on and, and I guess we had success in our property management businesses and development company. And, and we thought we could take on additional businesses mm-hmm. and we had the staff and resources, but it still involved a lot of you and I getting it off the ground and, and getting things spearheaded. And, and it took, we had, it took on more than we thought it would, I think, and, and anticipated. And we still have a family. We still have a marriage. We still have all these other things that we got to, manage and i think we just we realized that it was just too much this year and so i mean you know going back into 2020 we also like joni said we you know she started she wrote her book she started a business competition this year um and and last year we started two different new businesses Mm -hmm. the the plumbing company mr ritter plumbing and then we also um started the um, remote team member business uh and both were great ideas and they were both needed and they were both good ideas and they and I'm not saying I have regrets but I just I it was start having five businesses and running five businesses took a ton of energy time out of you both you and I yeah it did 
Mm -hmm. um, and to, and then we had to manage the pandemic and then our kids, you know, th them being active in sports and us just trying to dedicate as much time as we can. Some of the identifiers for you and I personally was like, you know, after a full day of work and, and all the energy is sucked out of us and then, you know, giving as much as we can to our kids when we get home and all that. You we and I, have, we don't have time. Like you and we're I, exhausted. By the, time, by the time you and I got to each other, it was just we were on empty yeah. all the time. And, yeah. it, and I think we we've had some deep conversations about this. Like, hey, you can't keep coming to me on empty <laughs> all the time because that's not going to work. Uh, I can't get. So I'm cut off yeah. this this next year from doing anything. <laughs> I can't get your leftovers anymore. I, I, uh, I, you know, and it's true. Like, there's times I, I expressed to Joni, I, I felt like the I was getting the leftovers, and it, and to be honest, that felt like a I wasn't a priority. Yeah. And I know that was hard for probably you to hear, and you know, and no, and it, it it was, but I think also it was needed to hear because you know yeah i mean i i do tend to throw a lot of stuff on my plate and you know uh the three thing or the four things in our life that we say are the most important which mm -hmm. is you know our family our business our spiritual right and, the, and, our, health. and our health those all uh, get, we're sacrificing that because we're just throwing a bunch of stuff on our plate and me you know and, and so yeah i mean it's something i needed to hear that yeah um and, and, I, and i i think there's times where we're not you don't have to always be in balance and mm -hmm. and you know, yes, you hear about balance and all that stuff, but to realistically, if you want to excel in something that you're probably going to be a little bit unbalanced, mm -hmm. you know, to, to achieve it. And so I think there's different seasons in people's lives and, and there's seasons for, for certain things. And so there's times where we might be heavily business because we're mm -hmm. trying to grow and trying to um, start a business off the ground and, and something new. There's a season where we're going to be, really heavily focused on family but mm -hmm. then we're, we're out of the business a lot and just letting it run or right. there's a season where we're totally trying to lose weight and, and focus on fitness or spiritual life and and so there's i think you can you're never a hundred percent like equal balance or equal spending time in each one of them and energy but i, I noticed you know we try to do our best and try to improve mm -hmm. each one of those but it was um for this year when we took on those additional businesses we, they required so much additional time and we thought we could also do the rest and it was a real right. eye-opening. Yeah. And I think that was uh, the yeah. biggest thing. And I think, you know, and one of the, going back to like the identifiers, right? Like, I think we also, for our listeners, like we need to identify like what is causing us to feel overwhelmed, mm -hmm. right? Um, and really kind of reflect on that because I think that, I mean, is it home, relationship, you know, uh, work, what is it that's causing you to feel overwhelmed before you can try to fix that? And that, so how do you do it? Just like with, um, again, your, your, um, journal and meditation or where, where do you find? Yeah. I mean, do that? I think for me, you know, quiet time meditation and really kind of, you know, sensing, okay, like where, where am I? And that, because I think in, and, and asking yourself, do I have control over these things? You know, like, can I control being overwhelmed or, you know, am I stressed out? For example, am I stressed out because, you know, I can't get to work on time? Well, I mean, can I get up earlier? What are some things that I could do to make the process better and easier? Right. That's good. Yeah. I mean, for me, it, it was quiet time and I had to like reflect like, you know, why was I feeling like empty or why was I feeling, you know, I don't know, inadequate or. I don't know what the right or word is. Or that you weren't a priority. Yeah, yeah. And uh, where was that coming from? Because I think you can lash out, uh, you know, and and, and show mm -hmm. uh, uh, there's a reaction to it. But what were, where was the real re result? Right. For me, it was just like I didn't feel like a priority. I was getting mm -hmm. the leftovers. And I'm not saying I want you to put me over, you know, everything else. It was just, hey, there's only so much we can do. Mm -hmm. There's only so much energy. Mm -hmm. And I need, we need to figure out mm -hmm. how can we how can you readjust your time? Does it, you know, one of the big reasons why we got brought on a CEO, COO is to, you know, alleviate us from the daily operations mm -hmm. of this. And, it, and it's taking time. And it, we knew 
that wasn't going to be like, hey, you make a hire and all of a sudden you're done and you're, you're spending two days in the office. We will get there, <laughs> but we're not there yet. And right. it's going to take time. He's got to learn the business. He's got to learn. It was a new industry. So there's certain things that's going to take time that we're going to have to, um, you know, um, show him, walk him through things and examples and uh, scenarios and experiences so he can understand mm -hmm. Um, you know what, what's going on, and then let him run it, and let and th there'll be a time, and there'll be a season right. where you and I can, um, you know, spend less time in the office, and and at that point, I'll have to find hobbies and other things that I need to fill that time with. But right now, this year, it was like, hey, we we need to. Our business is requiring this because of their two startup companies. We need, we have to invest that. So mm -hmm. that means. Personally, we probably don't other because we're never going to take away from our kids or our relationships. So we, we're going to have to figure out other ways to minimize. It might be less travel for yeah. us. It might be not doing any more fitness competition because <laughs> um, that took a lot, right? Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it, it did. Um, yeah, it takes, you know, extreme discipline and you, I mean, training three, four days a week and, you know, and taking away from the family. And yeah, it definitely does. So, yeah, I mean, I think part of it, too, is when we're feeling overwhelmed to what we forget about being present mm -hmm. and in the moment, mm -hmm. like and that's part of being mindfulness, you know, being mindful, right? Like, um, and, and oftentimes you just need a reset, yeah. right? And yeah. so if it is taking a small vacation or, um, you know, something just to reset yourself and reset your priorities in, um, because I think with so many things just getting thrown at, your plate you just you're like ah like I, yeah. I can't handle it anymore right yeah. so you need to kind of put yourself in check um be present and in the moment if you're with your family or with um your spouse your kids yeah. being present um and and you know i think we have to just remember that yeah and the uh something else i think would help or benefit you know to make a difference and and to create change so you're not feeling overwhelmed is say no a lot more mm -hmm. so like you were saying you're, you're everything's being thrown at you're being asked to do different things um there's a lot of things times that we just even though they might be good they might not be great things for you in your life at that point yeah. Um, and, and, and so that you just got to say that's no. hard. I mean, that's not easy. No, you're the one <laughs> because... that gets us sucked into all this stuff. <laughs> Johnny's like, yes, yeah, sign me up. Yes, let's do that. I'm like, and then uh, and th we had a heart. That was another some just recently, the last two weeks, we, um, we had some um, interesting conversations, some difficult conversations between the two of us because we're like, Joan is like, hey, you know, um, I, I agree to do this and this and this. And, and it's like, well, okay, great. And she's like, yeah, so I need you to be, you know, help me with this presentation. We're going to speak at this. And I'm like, I didn't sign up for that. So are you speaking? Because I, I ain't speaking. Um, <laughs> yes, and, it is something that I'm struggling with is to say no, but yeah. I'm working on that. Because, I mean, you know, going back to our priorities, you know, for Joan and I, it's, it's really – faith, family, mm -hmm. uh, our businesses, and then health. And, you know, it, it, a lot of that's going to get sucked up. Almost our entire life is sucked up into those four priorities, or yeah. they all, all of it is. And so really outside, we just don't have a lot of time extra for things. And that's yeah. and it's difficult. And it's there's times with family we have to say no. There's times with friends. There's, I mean, mm -hmm. they're all good people. And, you know, they want to hang out with us, or they want us to be involved, or they want us to help their charity and all that. And there's times we just have to say no because it – it's going to take away from what we really want to accomplish in life. And so yeah. you got to have those difficult conversations and say, and they say no, or just not at this time. And, and there'll be seasons and there'll be times where you have more time to do it. But, mm -hmm. um, and also going with, yeah, I, I think what you said is a hundred percent. Um, yeah. I agree with that. And, um, one point I want to make as well is like, you know, if you're, a, if you're an entrepreneur, or, you know, um, in business, um, you know, and this goes kind of goes back to the, the businesses that we started this past year, right? Because you and I are just uh, high achievers. And so anything that's thrown at us, any business, you know, we're like, oh, like we can make money here, we can make money there, we can, you know, but at the end of the day, you got to ask yourself, is it taking you out of focus, right? Is it, is it something that, you need to do is it going to help your business or is it just you know one of those shiny objects that you know you're going to chase and those are going to come all the time and you got to be willing to say you know what 
this is going to take me out of focus on my business. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, as the more successful you get, the more opportunities are going to be presented to you. Actually, the more no's you have to say. Yeah. Because, yeah it it okay, uh, goes back to that. Too. And they're all great. And they probably will be a successful business for some, but it might not be what's right for you right. at that point. And, and yeah, it will distract you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when we took on, you know, like example, the plumbing company, that was way more than I ever endured. There was, it's harder than I ever thought it would be. It was harder to manage. It was new people, new types of individuals to manage. And, and even though I was in the, I'm not in the day-to-day -day management, I still have to like oversee at the higher level and, and help the and coach and support mm -hmm. the managers. And they were struggling, you know, and it was just a total new industry for us that we didn't know what we didn't know. And, yeah. and it was, a, it sucked a lot of time out of me, which again, takes away from what, I want to do, which is develop houses and build. Right. And all that. It takes and away from that. So yeah. I, I spent way too much time. Right. And, and more, well, more than I thought. Mm -hmm. and I, I, I've learned, <laughs> learned my lesson. Yeah. And uh, yeah. With that too, I think you also have to be very careful on who you listen to, who your outside, you know, influences yeah. are. Right. Because, point. you know, yeah, everybody's like, Go get it, Sean. Like, yeah, this yeah. you should be starting this plumbing company right. because you're going to make a lot of shit. Oh, sorry. A lot of money, right? Yeah. <laughs> but then they don't know what they don't know because they've never started a business, Correct. right? And so you got to be really careful with who you influence yourself with and really ask, like, you know, who are your true mentors? Who are your mentors yeah. out there that you can ask for advice? Yeah, people that have been there and that, right. yeah, that, that have done it and that they've already experienced it or... Right. They know what you don't know yeah. and, and can walk you through some of that. But yeah, the... Or, uh, or to say, hey, you're, you're crazy. This is yeah. not, you know, this is not part of your business, not what you do every day. Why would you challenge you? Mm -hmm. Somebody that's going to challenge like why you're going to do this. Correct. And, and the, something that, what happened to us last year was we started the plumbing company and then like three months later, we got approached to, to acquire the um, remote team member business. That wasn't even on our radar. No. And and going back, it I would have loved to spend more time on the remote team member because I I think it has more potential than than the plumbing company. So it was like you know you're going to sometimes miss opportunities or yes you or you're, you because you're so busy with whatever you started. Sometimes there's you're you going to miss opportunities or you're going to be spending so much time on it. You're not going to really. You're, yes. Be able to start yeah, so, I totally agree with that. I, so think I wouldn't that, have started the plumbing company if I would have known. Right. That that that's, that's the whole point of why you just don't go for any shiny object Correct. because you're going to miss. There might be a, an opportunity right next door that you have to pass on because you just went for a shiny object that just didn't make sense, you know, for you at all. Correct. Um, some other things, you know, we would wrote down to help, alleviate you for feeling overwhelmed was um, like eliminate time wasters out mm -hmm. of your life. So if there's things you can do, um, Joni and I have tried to do everything, you know, as far as like shoppers for us at shopping and, and anything that, that <laughs> again, doesn't those four yeah. pillars we've tried to outsource. Well, and in, in business and, you know, in personal life, like something that I, I do and has helped me is like, uh, Write like a, a log, you know, like um, a diary of what you do yeah. um, every hour, you know, and, and are, are those items that you can maybe delegate to somebody else, whether it's an employee, whether it's your nanny, whether it's your, you know, your shopper, whoever, um, to help you so you can have more time to do what's important. Mm -hmm. So try to outsource everything. I mean, unless you get a lot of pleasure out of mowing your grass, it's probably a time waster. Um, there's also stuff, uh, you know, social media and um, TV. Um, all those are, are big time wasters. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, just, just monitor them. I, I mean, they're all, they're, I love to watch TV. Uh, you know, I, we like to get on social mm -hmm. media, but it, they can really suck you in and waste a lot of t vulnerable time if mm -hmm. you if you're. Um, and be careful too with the social media as far as feeling overwhelmed. I know when, whenever I've some at times have felt overwhelmed, um, I know I can trace it back to, you know, I was, you know, watching people on social, social media is, is a killer at this because mm -hmm. people are showing their best images of themselves right. all the time. And so, and then you, if they're negative, you probably not 
you're probably like scrolling over through them because <laughs> you don't want to hear all their negative rants and stuff. But, you know, for the most part, it's every, all the things that are going great. And it can make you feel overwhelmed because you look at your life and you're like, man, I'm not, I'm not accomplishing as much as they are. Um, and, and be honest, you know, when you really look and if you were to spend time with those people, they're, they're still struggling just like you are. They're having issues and th mm -hmm. their life's still happening to them just like, you know, you're going through. Um, they might have some success there in that area of their life, but they, their marriage could be a total wreck or yeah. they could be having great success, um, fitness wise, but you know, their business is failing. Mm -hmm. and, and so like there, there's, you don't know what you yeah. are not seeing. So I think with that, you just have, well. yes. And you have to really focus on yourself. Like, you know, don't That's worry right. about everybody else out there, um, because they're not worried about you, <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. know, so you, you just need to focus on yourself and how you can be better. Correct. That's Each awesome. day, how you can improve. Yeah. And uh, we kind of wanted to finish off with just kind of how I started was when you're feeling overwhelmed, I, you know, usually like when I get overwhelmed and I get anxiety, it's it's from I'm trying to look at everything at one all together. So I'm, I'm looking at all the different businesses and all that's got to be done. I'm looking at uh, you know, the workout I got to do that day. And I'm looking at, you know, I'm trying to eat right. And I'm trying to spend time with my kids and be present with them. And I'm looking at it all. I'm like, <laughs> I start freaking out and getting overwhelmed. Um, but if I just write it down and just really write everything down and, you know, we use the focus planner and I just write my top three priorities for that day. Mm -hmm. If I just get those top three things, I'll feel accomplished. And I, I know it's moving the needle and it's moving, you know, one of those areas, uh, my priorities yeah. ahead. And so that's for me personally how I, you know, I, whenever I'm like, get that anxiety overwhelmed, I stop, try to write everything down and then, and then mm -hmm. really focus and, and plan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, but, for me, I think, you know, that morning routine that I've talked about over and yeah. over and over again, it seems like on this podcast, yeah. but, you know, um, having a morning routine, like really just sets my day up. Like yeah. if I don't have that morning routine where I'm, you know, having quiet time and journaling and, and exercising, you know, and writing my three things that are important for that day, then, I mean, the day is kind of wasted for me. It's like, yeah. So I really encourage, you know, everyone to have that morning routine. Yeah. And, and I, I want to finish with just giving people hope that even if you, whatever you're going through and whatever, you know, if you are feeling overwhelmed and, and um, you know, what's going through, whatever you're going through in life. Um, you know, I was reading just recently this week, uh, the book Attributes by uh, Rich De, uh, Devinney. Um, and one of the chapters was on grit. And it, it, if you go through our office, you'll see it, we have a big um, um, picture thing that says grit on it. And to me, it means a lot. But and what he was, he had a whole chapter on it because um, he's a Navy SEAL and a lot of talks about Navy SEALs. But grit is actually not an attribute. It's a, it's a combination of multiple um, attributes. So it's courage, perseverance, uh, adaptation stability and resilience mm -hmm. and so those uh, that's what i want to encourage you with so no matter what you're going through right now or if you're feeling overwhelmed or um it's just to have some grit so you know i want to get have the courage to step up and get know that you're going to get through mm -hmm. it um and, and attack it persevere so just have that delayed um reaction or delayed mm -hmm. guard. know that you just got to work through it. it's going to take time but you can get through it and then adapt if you need to and, and have resilience, you know, yeah. just, just power through it. And I think we've said this in many podcasts and, and, you know, when you and I, you know, a lot of people keep asking us and we started with this, that, you know, it looks like, Hey guys, how do you manage all that mm -hmm. you guys are doing? It's cause you and I have a lot of grit. We, we are very resilient yep. and we will just push through and power through and, take our punches, but we don't quit and we just keep fighting. And yeah. so, I mean, that's really what a lot of you and I come down mm -hmm. to and us getting through a lot of things and, and getting th is just. And what's really and, cool and is that, you know, having that like in our company and in our culture, that's yes. how our company culture is like, you know, and that's what makes mm -hmm. us successful here is because everybody in this office has that grit mm -hmm. you know they're resilient and they no matter what is thrown at them they are back up i don't care what it is yeah. storms or, what, or fires or people screaming and cussing them out or whatever they yeah. just they just 
power through it mm-hmm. and work through it. And so, uh, and then that, that's, and you know, that's from us and, and we really hire and, and, uh, show that, but it, uh, yeah, I agree with you hundred yeah. percent. That's what, that's what our culture is made of. So, well, I hope, uh, hope you guys like that. We, uh, try to be vulnerable, try to share, um, Hopefully you can overcome being overwhelmed. Um, we are all, we <laughs> all feel like this from time <laughs> to time. So I know that it's something that, you know, is needed out there and just little tips and tricks that could help you get through, you know, your day or, um, you know, uh, improve your, your life, your family, whatever. Yeah. And so, if, again, if you guys are appreciating this, liking this um, info, then please share it. Um, you know, we need you guys to spread the word and um, rely on our listeners to like it. And, and because that helps us, you know, uh, our rankings. And so people, more people see it so that more people can, um, you know, listen to it and then also share it. Uh, if you think it's something that somebody else could use, please share it. And uh, we appreciate all of you and uh, have a great week. Have a great one, guys. You've been listening to Inside the Wolf's Den, an entrepreneurial journey with Sean and Joni Wolfswinkle. Tons of entrepreneurial podcasts are out there talking, talk, talk, talking. But Joni and Sean are living it every single day. Their portfolio now includes many franchises and medium-sized businesses. We talk about the trials and motivators of successfully running a business. Join us again soon for another podcast. But until then, reach out on the website at InsideTheWolfsDen.com, on Facebook at InsideTheWolfsDen, on Instagram at InsideTheWolfsDen. We'll see you again soon. This is Inside the Wolf's Den. We'll see you next time.